Hello everyone, my name is Terry Barnes, I live here in Kentucky. From my house to yours, I want to wish Trucker Rudy and all the truck drivers out there a very, very Merry Christmas. And as a former trucker myself, I know what you go through on a daily basis, trust me. I drove for 22 years, there's probably something out there I haven't seen that, that you have. So once again, I want to say Merry Christmas and God bless you all. And thank you so much for all you do. Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. We are done <coughs> getting unloaded. That cold air is scratching my throat a little bit. Now we went back over here to the Hosky. Well, back, I mean, this is the first time I've gone over here, but yeah, this is the truck stop over here a little bit. It's an early morning. I know it's a little windy out here, but we're going to go inside of here and see if we can get some breakfast done. The restaurant, uh, Husky restaurant up here, so. Let's go in and see what they got. All right, guys, we have gotten our breakfast. So let's have a look. Mm -hmm. We got a scramble of everything, pretty much. Yeah, it's really, really good here, too. So let's get to finish our meal, and then we'll get out of here. All right, guys, we have just gotten instructed to uh, go ahead and head towards Edmonton. So we're going to be doing that right now. He said a load, a load offer is to follow later. So we got to get out of this way, uh, I believe. According to RJ, we got to go that way. And go a kilometer down the road here and Place then make a left and then we come back that way. Apparently there is a way station somewhere too. But uh, yeah, we have been instructed to uh, go to Edmonton. It's quarter to 12. Uh, Manitoba time right now, so uh, we got us uh, 450 kilometers or so to go till we get to uh, Edmonton. So we got us a ways to go yet, but uh, I just took me a shower there at the Husky. And let me tell you guys, if any of you guys truck drivers ever come to Grand Prairie, Alberta, meters. Turn to the Husky, on 84 Avenue. you might want to consider taking a shower somewhere else. Let me just put it to you in a nice way. <laughs> you do not want to take a shower here. No, no way. There's no toilet in there. There's not even a sink in there. There's not even a mirror in there. All they got in there is so tight that you kind of got to, and the door opens into the shower. So you got to back in, back into the shower, close the door, and then they got a little chair there you can put your stuff on, and that's it. I mean, it's like, they got no soap in the shower whatsoever, like, unreal, man. In and it's meters, disgusting dirty in there too, so. Avenue, and then turn left in I did take meters. a shower in there, and I'm not sure if I'm any cleaner than I was before, but at least we're, uh, we feel better. I mean, got my hair wet, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah. And you guys know me, I tell it the way it is. If I see something that is uh, out of line or that's not up to my standards or if I find it disgusting, I'm going to tell you about it. And I don't care what the company says either. I'm going to tell you the way I see it and that's the way it's going to be. But yeah to get our way uh, out of town here so we just missed the light but we couldn't get onto the road right the traffic coming right but anyways we'll get out of here and then uh, we'll make our way to Edmonton the wife just texted me this morning saying that the uh, school had called again and uh, said that Jessica had had too many seizures and they had to call the uh, ambulance I don't know why nobody is going I mean it's red everywhere like come on <laughs> like, nobody is going anywhere right <laughs> oh there we go 
But yeah, so uh, my wife is spending the day at the hospital again, but I don't know, man. It's tough days like these, but and then you get dealt with a crappy shower on top of that yet. It's like, wow, you know? But let me get out of here. I like to be positive, so uh, we'll see what else we will be able to show you today. All right, guys, we decided to make a little bit of a pit stop and uh, update our website. So here we are. This is what they call a Canadian style rest area. Yeah, we had a truck on that side here. This is pretty much the rest area and that's their restrooms that they got up here. You wanna come with me and have a look at that? <laughs> a little smoky south rest area, I guess that's what it's called up here. But yeah, yeah, look at that. That's where we're supposed to go in and use the restroom. I don't even know if I wanna go in there. <laughs> but anyways, We'll get out of here. I am now on Highway 43 here in Alberta. Yeah, we're still way north of uh, Edmonton, but uh, yeah, we're just cruising right on through here. We still have another 234 kilometers to go till we will be in Edmonton. And I just uh, stopped here a little bit ago and uh, updated my website and all that as you guys saw there i was stopped there at the rest area and now we're back at it again and just giving her trying to get to uh edmonton as soon as we can thinking i'm gonna need to get into the left lane here so that way i can pass this log holder up here because i'm empty right so i can just go and uh we have now gotten a reload offer, so uh, we know what we're doing. So I figured I'd update my website and do all of that good stuff. And just hammer down to uh, Edmonton. We got us a reload offer uh, picking up a preloaded trailer at the terminal in Edmonton. And then uh, we're going to Winnipeg with that load. Now it does have two drops on there. However, uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be delivering it. It says I'm supposed to, but, uh, well, I'll see if I'll actually do it because the way it's going to turn out, I'll probably be in Winnipeg tomorrow night. So if I'll be in tomorrow night in Winnipeg, then why would I want to hang around there to deliver that stuff on Thursday, you know? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it at the terminal and let the day cap deliver that on Thursday, so... So that way they can uh, take care of business unless they can drop it there or deliver the loads tomorrow night then I guess I would be able to do that but I don't think that they'll be open tomorrow night so we'll see how it goes but I figured hey, I'll show you a little bit of this highway 43 here and this highway actually takes you all the way to BC and to the uh, northern uh, territories up there in BC and all that so uh, this is kind of what it looks like in the middle of nowhere. It's all you see pretty much up here. Every once in a while you see a little town here and there. But other than that, this is all you see. Pretty much for miles and miles on end. That's for sure. Here we are guys and gals. We are now getting on to uh, Highway 16. Yeah. Continue on this road. 42 kilometers to go and we'll be in Edmonton at our terminal yeah hammer down hammer down let's go we're basically on the main highway again but we're off of the uh, off of the back roads now considering <laughs> but yeah here we are Let's get into the uh, left lane here. It looks like that right lane there is going to be uh, turning off to that uh, 16A or whatever. I guess that's the bypass to go around Edmonton. So I sure don't want to be on that one. I need to go straight through in order to get to the terminal. So, well, yeah, 
we're uh, we're on the home stretch now. We're just going to do a trailer switch and go again, and then we'll probably drive late into the night again, like we did yesterday and the day before. I haven't quite decided how far we're going to go, but I was thinking uh, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. That's kind of my plan or kind of what I would like to do. So we'll see if we will actually make that or not, but uh, that would be the ideal uh, ideal location for me. It would probably be there by either 11, maybe midnight, close before midnight. I just don't want to drive after midnight, but uh, we'll see how far we get. But, you know, that's kind of my goal for today is trying to make it up to uh, Saskatoon. Hopefully that load ain't going to be too heavy. It doesn't look like it's a super heavy load, but we'll see, I guess. But here we go. Here's that turn off there for that bypass there. So, yeah. That goes kind of around the Edmonton area, I guess. But uh, there's another one there. I think the uh, Highway 216, I think that's another bypass that goes around there. But yeah, we'll make it over to our uh, terminal and do all of them good things. And then by that time, it'll probably be dark because the sun is starting to go down a little bit. So. It'll probably be almost dark by the time I'm done with uh, my trailer switch and do all that stuff. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Here I am coming into Edmonton, guys. Yeah, they've done a lot of construction up here lately. Yeah, a lot of these bridges are brand new bridges. Look at that one. That one looks brand spanking new. It's got absolutely no damage to it, what uh, whatsoever. No age to it. Yeah, they've been working a lot on, on the highways around here. Now, I haven't been on the uh, east side of Edmonton lately, so uh, I don't know what that is, what it's going to look like over there. But it wouldn't surprise me if they got it finished by now. But last time I come through there, it was a cluster mast up there. That was true for sure. It was definitely confusing how you were supposed to drive over there you know because they were building all kinds of brand new overpasses and ramps and the whole yard nine yard you know and it was very confusing like you couldn't even get speed to the flying J there for a while but I don't know why he's saying speed warning it's like a hundred column an hour speed limit up here I don't even know what he's trying to say that there is but oh well take exit 381 I was only doing 96, and the speed limit right there says 90, 90 kilometers an hour, so... Oh well, we gotta take this exit up here to go to uh, our terminal, so uh, I guess uh, I guess we'll mute you now. I don't need you talking so much. I'm trying to record a show here, RJ. Don't you get it? Anyways, I'm just having fun with him. But yeah, here we go. Let's go to the terminal and hopefully the dispatch is still there. I think it's only four o'clock time, uh, local time here, so they should still be there. I would almost think so. so let's make our way down there and then we'll uh, go from there. Alrighty guys, we are now in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. We're getting some go-go juice over there. And in uh, Canada, I don't know my, uh, how many of you guys realize this, you can only feel one side at the time, so you can't feel both sides, but yeah, it's uh, late in the evening. It's actually 11.30 right now, Manitoba time. And as you can see on my breath, it's really cold. So I still have a half a tank of diesel, but I said I ain't taking no chances. I'm filling the sucker right up because I don't want to be frozen up here in the morning, right? So we're spending the night over here, so uh, we're going to go ahead and fill her up and then call her a day. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is going to come. I'm breaking the walls down. 